here to take a second look at 18th Century Lane just so we know what it would take to get this in really good shape. Underneath the eaves here looks okay. Needs some work. It's got trees growing out of the uh, the down uh, the, the gutters, but at least there are gutters and downspouts on this. It's got vinyl siding on the front, so the front should be fine. The windows look fairly decent. As I pointed out in the first walkthrough, and I'm not going to walk down through that weedy mess, but this whole side has to get replaced. All the siding there. And I would imagine up where that overhang is will need some work as well. So a lot of exterior work right there. I don't know what that would get into, but it's going to be several thousand dollars anyway. As we go inside, most of the flooring is good. Ceiling look good, doesn't look like it's ever had leaks. I don't know how old the roof is. Um, looks good inside. I'm not going to say there's not any kind of bugs here, but everywhere around here you should have a uh, uh, pest treatment. It's got some, it's a dead, not cockroach, but it's a palmetto bug. They don't want to be inside any more than, you, than anybody else. Still looks fairly decent there. That has been some peeling there once, so it might have had a little bit of a leak. The air conditioner is pretty old in this unit, and I turned it on just to see if it does anything. Um, flooring changed from here into the back section. That refrigerator, I'm going to guess it may not work. And I could be wrong, because it was working for the last tenant here. Same thing with the stove. Water is on, so I checked out all the plumbing and it all looks fine. All the toilets flushed. I'm not going to say you don't need a new toilet seat, because you do. This bedroom, with the skylight, is 9 by 12, and right beside it is a bathroom. And that tub looks in really good shape, actually. One of the better looking things in this whole uh, townhouse. Uh, vanities in both places need some TLC, either, you know, replacement or uh, just some paint. This hasn't begun to cool this down here yet. Um, but then again, I just barely turned it on. Oh, I did notice one thing in this other bedroom I want to point out. Um, I don't know what's happened here, but when I walk across this section, you can feel the floor pretty spongy. So it's had some moisture in there. So floor may be bad. And that goes right to the edge. Oh, looks like that door needs to get replaced. Yeah, it's had better days. But yeah, there's something spongy going on underneath that floor. Now. This whole floor has got to come up um, and look at the subfloor. I would say this whole section of the house might ought to be looked at and new flooring laid. Wouldn't be that expensive with luxury vinyl plank flooring, but I wouldn't do it without looking at the subfloor. This bedroom, I didn't feel that same sponginess anywhere. Um, it's in pretty good shape. That slider really needs to get replaced. It doesn't latch, it doesn't close entirely. The only thing that's keeping it closed is that bar. This bedroom I didn't measure. I'm going to give a rough measurement just some steps. It's about, oh, I'm going to say 15 by, it's a pretty good size bedroom. 15 by 10 or, or 11 by 12. Now this small room that you're talking about, it is tiny, but it's meant really just to be, I guess, a walk-in closet. Could be made into one. Some parts of it could be closed off. There's not a door between this and the bathroom. There's no light, you know. There's no light up there. This tub and shower doesn't look quite as good as the other one, but it's not in bad shape. After I flushed this toilet, it's still running, and that was quite some time ago. So it could be pressure problems in here. This whole cabinet's just beaten up and best to just tear it out and put a new um, vanity and, and countertop on there. That toilet seat's not usable. I mean, if you hover, it is. Um, for some reason, vents are off on all of the ceiling fans. Don't know why. They've done some painting in here. Maybe that's why, because there's painter's tape around the vent into here. 
Let's see if I can feel cooler. I can feel cooler coming in there, but I'm going to guess, I'm going to say, looking at the age of the air conditioner and the condition of it, that it may need to be replaced sooner rather than later. And that could be a six to $8,000 cost. So I think I had pointed out everything that looks bad. Um, this patio, I mean, this whole yard needs to get weed whacked and, and, and cleaned up to be able to be used for like a dog run, but it could be. Oh, all the uh, frame around that outside door has to get replaced. It's all wood rot. I think that's about it that I can see for attention. Uh, this tub and shower and the second one might need replacing. I'm not so sure. One thing, last thing I want to note outside here is that that tree is awfully close to the roof and needs a whole lot of uh, limbs trimmed on it.